Hamas' unprecedented attack on Israel raises questions about the influence of its sponsor, Iran. Ass. Oceated Press. Hamas' unprecedented attack on Israel and the war it launched has raised new questions about the INF. Luence of its main sponsor, Iran, and whether it had anything to do with the assault. From Tel Aviv to Washington, however, no one is willing to directly blame Iran as they say they lack direct evidence. In Tehran, even its supreme leader has denied the country being involved while praising what he desk. Ribbed as the capable, smart and courageous, militants who bleep more than 1,000 Israelis and Below are your comments. For the sake of international stability and world peace, it is time to actively seek regime change I. And Iran. Give Iranian dissidents the support they need to end the tyrannical theocracy. Unprecedented is a strong word. And setting it against the longer trail of thousands of years of history I am certain that there have even other bigger and worse events back through recorded history both in terms of destruction and loss of life. One example is the 15th of July 1099, the end day of the siege. What's critical is the immediate need for negotiation concerning the lives of the captured Americans and others being in present danger and not the grand assault of Gaza. Failure by those involved will affect numerous deaths of innocent people unsubscribed in the war. That's the tragedy of this Deb. The problem isn't just Iran in case you hadn't noticed the Sunni nations that are in fact aligned W.I. T.H. Israel are lamenting far more the loss of so-called Palestinians than the losses of Israeli lives. Dot 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 dot. That is telling on several fronts. The Sunnis get it and are trying to make peace with Israel, if Biden, with the six billion gift has enabled, and enriched our sworn enemy. Worst president in American history. Hands down, no debate. Next news. Erdogan slams U.S. decision to deploy warships over Gaza. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan criticized the U.S. for sending a group of warships to the E. A stern Mediterranean to show support for Israel after this weekend's deadly attack by Palestinian M.I. Lidant group Hamas. Most read from Bloomberg Israel latest. Israeli death toll in Hamas attack reaches 1,200 Hamas got around Israel's surveillance prowess by go. Ing dark Israel latest. Top U.S. general warns Iran to stay out of conflict Afghanistan's viral supercar makes global debut at Doha S. Below are your comments. Ironically, Turkey, a NATO ally has not one time condemned Russia for its illegal invasion of Ukraine. Nay nor has Erdogan condemned Russia its continuing massacre of Ukrainian citizens. The U.S. should stand face to face with Erdogan and tell him that he needs to choose a side. Either he is going to be. The U.S. warships aren't there for Gaza. They are there for any additional players that might want to take the opportunity to strike at Israel. L. Preventing an expansion of the conflict. Why is Turkey part of NATO? They will never fight alongside the U.S. 
The Turkish leader said the U.S. warships will cause massacres in Gaza and accused the U.S. of aiding terrorist groups in the region, citing American presence in Syria. This Turk still believes the Oat. Toman Empire exists, in his dreams. So what caused the massacres in Israel about a week ago? Yes. With an unpredictable Turkey in the region, Russian forces in Syria, Iran in Lebanon, and American H. Ostages in Gaza, the task force is an equalizer. Next news. U.S. House lawmakers consider empowering interim speaker to advance aid to Israel. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. U.S. House lawmakers are considering the unprecedented step of empowering Rep. Patrick Mick. Henry to advance aid to Israel and other legislation even if the House can't quickly elect a new SPI. Acker. Most read from Bloomberg Israel latest. Israeli death toll in Hamas attack reaches 1,200 Hamas got around Israel's surveillance prowess by go. Ing dark Israel latest. Top U.S. general warns Iran to stay out of conflict. Afghanistan's viral supercar makes global debut at Doha show China malls. Below are your comments. Just look at these Republicans mess up something that should be so simple. They can't govern, they can't lead, they can't legislate. They're as big of a failure as Trump was. Send all the GOP House members to the golf course, and let the Democrats get the hard work a complete head. PFF. Why bother establishing laws and rules if Republicans just want to change them immediately to suit T? Air needs instead of abiding by them like everyone else is supposed to. Not just in the House or Senate, but for states too. Two things. First, we've been giving aid to Israel for decades and they let this happen. Second, if we're going to give more aid to Israel we should be giving more aid to Ukraine. Republicans can't thread the needle on this. Both Israel and Ukraine are equally force majeure. If pressure groups can decide which exceptions to grant in the absence of rules, then those same pre-s sure groups are effectively governing without our consent. Next news. Tester, Manchin call on Biden to freeze $6 billion in Iranian assets. The Hill. Sends. John Tester. D. Mont. And Joe Manchin. D. W. V. A. Who are both facing tough re-elections next year, on Tuesday said the Biden administration should. Immediately, freeze, the $6 billion in funds that are set to be released to Iran as part of a prison. Ur exchange. The leading Democratic centrists voiced their opposition to releasing Iranian. Below are your comments. No one actually knows where that $6 billion is now. Last it was reported that the country of Qatar had it in one of their banks. But who knows where it is actually? Don't believe Blinken. He doesn't know what he is talking about. And he doesn't have eyes on that money. Not sure the U.S. can place a hold on the once frozen Iranian funds, since the money is in the legal H. Ands of an independent financial caretaker tasked with assuring any funds released to Iran must be F. 
or humanitarian uses. It was never U.S. money. In every war, we expect to lose hundreds to ten thousands of our own people. We accept this as the cost of doing the business which the United States does best. All of a sudden hostages are worth a billion dollars each? Renege on the deal and terrorists the world over will know they can't profit by. Freeze six billion dollars in Iranian assets? Not going to happen. Bribedon already got his piece of the action. One the kickbacks are paid, there's no going back. Old Jojo will get back to Yaw after his 11. Oh ice cream brunch. Anytime he hears the word freeze, he thinks it's ice cream time. Dot. Next news. Israel latest. Israeli death toll in Hamas attack reaches 1,200. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. About 1,200 Israelis were bleeped so far in the Hamas attack on the country and U.S. President Joe Biden. Den vowed to provide Israel full support that includes shipments of munitions and intelligence assists. Tants. Most read from Bloomberg Israel latest. Israeli death toll in Hamas attack reaches 1,200 Hamas got around Israel's surveillance prowess by go. Ing dark Israel latest. Top U.S. general warns Iran to stay out of conflict Afghanistan's viral supercar makes global debut at Doha show China Mull. Below are your comments. Gazans will be worse off. Israel will prevail. Gaza will still be a miserable place to live. As I remember it, when Palestine became a state Hamas took over. This is the time for the people of Palestine to show who they are and what they want to be for the F. Future. Either take up arms and overthrow Hamas or accept what will happen. There are aware groups in Palestine that did not agree W.I. Qatar's like the go-to peacemaker in action. The fact that the U.S. is looking to Qatar for help in these sensitive hostage talks with Hamas speaks volumes about Qatar's mediation expertise. Here's to hoping that they can work their magic once again and help bring the American hostages back. Home safe. What Qatar should do is invite Hamas people to a meeting, when they're in the room and seated bring in Israel representatives, post an armed guard at the door to prevent anyone from leaving, order Piz, za, and the tell them to talk to each other. Next news. Explainer will U.S. military aid to Israel jeopardize Biden's help to Ukraine? Reuters. U.S. President Joe Biden pledged to bolster military support for Israel following an unprecedented attack by Hamas militants that has bleeped more than 1,000 Israelis and prompted an intense retaliation agai. NST the Palestinian-controlled Gaza Strip. His promise raised questions about whether Washington can ramp up defense aid to Israel without JEP. Ardizing aid for Ukraine, especially given Republican lawmakers' ouster of House of Representatives. Speaker Kevin McCarthy and failure so far to name. Below are your comments. Guess Biden didn't read the study by the Warden Business School that claimed that given continued p. resent deficit spending. 
The government and the citizens would be bankrupt in 20 years. That was a best-case scenario Canton. Gent on measures being taken before then. We are at 98% of GDP now. I think that we need to figure out how to help our allies and it sounds like Biden has worked out a plan. Only a matter of time that NATO urges Ukraine to accept peace but Russia will keep gained land but n. OT fully legal. Putin is in trouble and will agree. Let's tell it like it is. Ukraine has been an ally only during the Biden administration whereas Israel has been an ally since. The country was established in 1948. Congress should assure that Israel gets enough aid to blast Hamas off the face of the earth. If that means putting a clamp on Zelens. Next news. Biden will award $7 billion for hydrogen hubs across the U.S. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. President Joe Biden is set this week to announce as much as $7 billion in funding for hydrogen PR. Ojects across the country as part of a competition to jumpstart production of the clean burning few. L in the U.S., according to people familiar with the matter. Most read from Bloomberg Israel latest. Israeli death toll in Hamas attack reaches 1,200 Hamas got around Israel's surveillance prowess by go. Ing dark Israel latest. Top U.S. general warns Iran to stay out of conflict Afghanistan's viral. Below are your comments. Biden will award $7 billion for hydrogen hubs across the U.S. How come every time Congress says we muse? T cut Social Security, Medicare, anything that would help the average Joe because we have no money. Congress spends billions on stuff the next day? LNG and hydrogen could be the real bridge fuels, shore beats electric with the recharge times. Where in the Constitution is this permitted? This should be up to the private sector and not taxpayers. Spending must originate in the House, and I don't mean the White House. Get your hand out of my pocket, Brandon. Dot. A good example of Biden and the Democrats continuing to squander the taxpayers' money on useless pro. J-E-C-T-S to enrich their cronies. Just like selling $100 million of Trump's border wall materials for S bleep price and then buying Tway. NTY miles more to restart the wall installation. Next news. Fact check. Iran says it will hit Israel with missile strikes from Lebanon, Yemen and Iran if attacked? Snopes. Israel blamed Iran for backing the Hamas attack on Israeli territory in October 2023. Below are your comments. American warships and a carrier has moved into the area. You know what that means? American subs are lurking there too. Iran really doesn't want America to get involved. It won't end well for Iran. Iran doesn't breath without Russian consent. If Russia wasn't involved in this, they are the luckiest country on earth. Putin is already benefiting from U.S. politicians using this to shut down support to Ukraine, while a t the same time, Putin affirms his support for Palestine in his first statement. This attack by Iran and Hamas, the barbaric and disgusting bleep of the women especially, really p.
Oint out just how terrified their men are of women. They not only bleeped them, but spit on them and tortured them and desecrated their dead bodies. These are very passionate and personal acts, eh? I think it's the West and Israel versus Russia, Iran and, if she is really foolish, China. Ukraine has done a great job of weakening Russia's military. Now NATO needs to come in and finish the Russians off. Israel needs to go after Iran with military support from the US. Enough with the Islamic. Shut off their oil, by taking out their pumping stations, then see how long they last without any mo. Nay coming in. Next news. U.S. intel agencies hunt for evidence of Iranian role in Hamas attack on Israel. CNN The U.S. intelligence community is digging through its stores of data and tasking the nation's spy age. NCIES to hunt for fresh clues to determine whether Iran played a direct role in Saturday's deadly at Attack on Israel by Hamas, a senior Biden administration official said Tuesday. Below are your comments. There's no doubt that Tehran funds Hamas and Islamic Jihad to the tune of $100 million a year. Iran is willing to do whatever it takes to block the Israeli-Saudi peace agreement and this is the E. Exact reason for the timing of this terror attack. There is no doubt that Iran funded and directed these attacks to stop the Israeli Saudi peace agreement. It's quite simple actually, and our intelligence agencies should have seen it coming. Extremely sophisticated attack. Hamas has never shown this capability before. Rockets fired from Beirut indicate Hezbollah which is owned and operated by Iran. I am sure our government knows the answer but I am not sure if they want to tackle Iran head on. Oh please. They know Iran was behind the attacks, they just don't want to hold Iran accountable for it. From the wording used by Biden administration officials, it tells me they are working harder to conk Il Iran's involvement than to prove they were in fact directly involved. Next news. India carries out more raids on news outlet critical of Modi. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. Sign up for the India Edition newsletter by Manaka Doshi, an insider's guide to the emerging eco nomic powerhouse and the billionaires and businesses behind its rise, delivered weekly. Most read FR. Om Bloomberg Israel latest. Israeli death toll in Hamas attack reaches 1,200 Hamas got around Israel's surveillance prowess by Go. Ing Dark Israel latest. Top U.S. general warns Iran to stay out of conflict Afghanistan's viral supercar makes global debut at Doha show China mulls new stimulus, HIG. Below are your comments. If he does not like others being critical then the best thing to do is to become critical of him and hope that as many as possible do the same. Corruption in India is the highest compared to any other countries. Policymakers only see to the up or level but in the base there is mass corruption. So even God comes then also India cannot be changed. D. Modi is the only one in India enjoying freedom and democracy. I don't see any difference between Modi and Xi. In India people here are only to blame Modi. 
If any action is taken on anyone they blame Modi. If in I. NDIA if streetlights do not work then also the public here will blame Modi. If 140 crores Modi also see. Ohm then also they cannot change the mindset of our 140 crores population. Sad. Next news. Israel ambassador slams UN Council's statement criticizing Israel. How many bleep Jews does it take? Single quote. Dot. Fox News. Israeli ambassador to the United Nations Gilad Erdin slammed the UN Human Rights Council after they delivered an anti Israeli statement in response to Hamas terrorist attacks. Below are your comments. Who really needs the UN? They really do nothing except bleep money from a lot of countries. WHO, Doctors Without Borders, NATO and the list goes, on are more effective in their specific area O. F expertise than the UN will ever be. The Security Council is a joke because all it takes is one negative versus. The Human Rights Council conveniently ignores Israelis' right to life. They also conveniently ignore that it was Ham ASS that initiated the attack and have bleep hundreds. Men, women and children, entire families. Before the IDs responded. It is condemnations like this that demonstrates how Ural. Quick name a war the UN has prevented. Where's the lie? Regrettably, this huge loss of lives and unabated violence is a sad reminder of more than seven deca. Day of illegal foreign occupation, aggression and disrespect for the international law, including UN. ESCO resolutions. These Hamas attacks didn't happen in a Pretending Isra. Next news. U.S., Venezuela near deal on sanctions relief for steps toward fair elections. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. The U.S. and Venezuela are close to reaching an understanding that would bring limited sanctions re- Leaf in exchange for steps to ensure fair elections in the Latin American country next year, according Ing to people familiar with the matter. Most read from Bloomberg Israel latest. Israeli death toll in Hamas attack reaches 1,200 Hamas got around Israel's surveillance prowess by Go. Ing dark Israel latest. Top U.S. general warns Iran to stay out of conflict Afghanistan's viral supercar makes glob. Below are your comments. I guess we need to enforce sanctions on the U.S. To ensure fair elections in 2024. Who are we to question Venezuela's election process when ours I. S. Far from fair? Just another attempt to keep oil prices down especially during election time. Lol, I picture U.S. representatives who are biological boys who think and dress like girls exchanging clever ideas to dismantle voting integrity with the Venezuelan government. There will likely never be another fair election in Venezuela and if the socialists and Marxists get their way here, we'll never see one again either. Coup did not work in Venezuela. Time to change tactic. Next news. Top Polish army generals resign days before parliamentary election. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. Two top Polish army generals resigned days ahead of a tight election contest after a scandal invo. LVing an errant Russian missile triggered a rupture between the nation's military brass and the ruling party. 
Most read from Bloomberg Israel latest. Israeli death toll in Hamas attack reaches 1,200 Hamas got around Israel's surveillance prowess by go. Ing Dark Israel latest. Top U.S. general warns Iran to stay out of conflict Afghanistan's viral supercar makes global debut at Doha show China M. Below are your comments. All I can figure out is that the two generals feel like the army of Poland has been unfairly accused by the ruling party. I think it's justifiable criticism that the Polish military hid the fact a Russian missile landed on their soil for five months. The public had a right to know. Don't politicize the armed forces that will defend the government regardless of whoever presides. I bet there's a lot more going on there than a little scandal about an errant Russian missile landing. G on Polish soil. Those generals wanted to start WW3, thankfully cooler minds prevailed. Next news. RFK Jr.'s Super PAC raises $11.3 million after he leaves Democrats. Bloomberg. Bloomberg, a super political action committee supporting Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s long shot bid for the presidency as an independent raised $11.3 million in the hours AF. Tear he renounced the Democratic Party where his family has played a prominent role. Most read from BL. Umberg Israel latest. Israeli death toll in Hamas attack reaches 1,200 Hamas got around Israel's surveillance prowess by go. Ing Dark Israel latest. Top U.S. general warns Iran to stay out of conflict Afghanistan's viral supercar makes. Below are your comments. A small percentage of people actually believe in angels. Fewer believe in alien abductions. And far fewer still believe Trump's big lie. So why would we think that there wouldn't be a odd fringe supporting RFK, Jr.? You don't have to be one of them. To paraphrase the 1960s, in your heart, you know. Dems don't like Junior. Looks like him going independent will grab some Republican votes. Betcha dollar it was all Crim Con donors. Thanks RFK Jr. You're gonna make it even easier for Dems to win. And it was already a cakewalk. Next news. Republicans must overcome deep splits to choose a speaker as Israel crisis exposes failure to govern. CNN. House Republicans must mend gaping splits in their conference if they are to succeed in picking an A. W. Speaker, as dangerous global crises in Israel and Ukraine expose the steep cost of their malfunct. Ioning majority. Below are your comments. Just imagine the chaos if GOP rule Congress and President in 24 elections. They might shut the country down while they squabble among themselves. Talk about terrorists, Jim and David Duke Jr. Enough of giving away billions to others while we are being invaded by millions of illegals including G criminals and those carrying deadly diseases. Secure this country first, deport those who aren't supposed to be here and then worry about others. Lol. Ukraine and Israel has nothing to do with the House majority. The liberal trash tabloids need to focus on Baghdad Biden where all the blame lies.
Let's see. Baghdad Biden's open border has let in untold number of terrorist sleeper cells laying low in the U.S. Right now, over 250 terrorists have. Next news. U.S. is able to support both Ukraine and Israel simultaneously. Ukrainska Pravda. Jake Sullivan, the United States National Security Advisor to President Joe Biden, has said that the U.S. has enough resources to simultaneously support Ukraine in its fight against Russian aggression a ND Israel in the defense of its territory and citizens. Below are your comments. Yeah, and who's going to support the American people? Not doing as good as our politicians think and the media would have us believe. That's funny. Last month the liberal media said that we were almost out of ammunition and blamed Trump for it. Now we have enough for two wars. How about some support for the hundreds of thousands of Americans, many of which are veterans, who l. I've on the streets? Enough with Ukraine. These people are unfit to serve, and it's sad we are forced to pay taxes to pay their salaries. What about the current major disasters here in the U.S.? I guess we don't matter under the current POTUS, admin's agenda. Help our fellow citizens in Hawaii first. Next news. Thousands attend New York City rally in support of Israel. Kloss articles. The crowd packed into Dag Hammarskjöld Plaza at 47th Street and 2nd Avenue, located up the street from the Israeli consulate and near the United Nations. Below are your comments. Netanyahu is under Israeli indictment for corruption and he made the following statement documented by the Israeli newspaper Haaretz. Anyone who wants to thwart the establishment of a Palestinian state has to support bolstering Hamas and transferring money to Hamas, Netanyahu told his party in Mar. New York City is home to the largest Jewish population outside of Israel, with about 2 million Jewish people living in the city and surrounding areas. How is that the Palestinians' problem? I hear they are real popular from Rockland County NY to S. Jersey. Mazel tov. Dot. There's also thousands showing up support for Palestinians but these fake news media ain't reporting. Those. Fake freedom. Fake news and fake democracy. Ain't no human right in America either. Next news. China raises concerns over former Australia PM's Taiwan trip. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. China has conveyed its disapproval to Australia over a visit to Taiwan by former Prime Minister S. Cot Morrison, according to a Beijing diplomat, with the trip threatening to undermine efforts by Bo. Th countries to improve relations ahead of a state visit later this year. Most read from Bloomberg ISR. AEL latest. Israeli death toll in Hamas attack reaches 1,200 Hamas got around Israel's surveillance prowess by Go. Ing Dark Israel latest. Top U.S. general warns Iran to stay out of conflict F. Below are your comments. A day can't go by without China protesting about something, and is ignored. Get over it, China. The world doesn't revolve around you. 
China also sentenced an Australian journalist to 1,000 days of solitary confinement. So, go pound sand, China. Pocketing a little money isn't China's business. Give the man a break. He is out of office, and needs to supplement his income. Next news. Is Russia involved in Hamas terrorist attacks on Israel? Kiev Independent. Palestinian terrorist group Hamas shocked the world on October 7 by launching an unprecedented deadly offensive against Israel, brutally bleep over 1,000 people and detaking at least 150 Israelis hostage. As Iran-backed terrorists rampaged through Israeli cities, some, including many in Ukraine, point D fingers at Russia, a country with established ties with Hamas and a clear beneficiary of a war set to diverge attention from its own atrocities in Ukraine. Russia is interested in igniting a war. Below are your comments. I wouldn't be surprised. Just more baseless rants from Zelensky to keep the money flowing from the U.S. Putin's ultimate game of chess. Sleeping with Israel and Iran. What could possibly go wrong? I heard 50 or our intel clowns said it was Russia. Next news. Germany announces winter support package for Ukraine. Kyiv Independent. Germany is delivering a new support package to Ukraine, which includes air defense systems worth Aero. Und 1 billion euros. 1.06 billion dollars. The German Defense Ministry announced on October. The package includes an additional Patriot air defense system, which Germany pledged on October. 5. It would provide to Kyiv. Iris T and Jeopard systems are also included. Below are your comments. Germany has been a good partner to Ukraine. I wish they'd send the Taurus missiles but hey, this has been very helpful. Putin has lost this war, it's just a matter of time. Excellent. I would hope Euro is in the middle of organizing lots of portable, even room-size heaters EC. With the Republicans cutting off aid to Ukraine and little chance of them standing up to Putin it say. M's moot. Announced. Next news. George Santos faces new criminal charges over campaign funds. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. U.S. Representative George Santos, the embattled New York Republican indicted five months ago for F. Route and money laundering, was hit with new charges including making false statements to the Federal Election Commission and running up unauthorized expenses on his campaign contributors' credit cards. Most read from Bloomberg Israel latest. Israeli death toll in Hamas attack reaches 1,200 Hamas got around Israel's surveillance prowess by go. Ing dark Israel latest. Top U.S. general warns Iran. Below are your comments. 
The GOP has no issue with all these crimes and they are worried about Hunter. Dot. Santos, Boebert, 2025. We are the Republicans and this is the best we got. Finally, a fresh new face of the felony party. Looks like Santos and his lawyer go to the same gym. Next news. Inside the deadly instant loan app scam that blackmails with nudes. BBC. At least 60 people have bleeped themselves in India after being extorted by a global racket. Below are your comments. Brutal behavior. If possible, please, neither a borrower nor a lender be. Timeless good advice. There really is no reason to keep such vile people alive for prison, or to continue their destructive e-ways. Horrible people that would do this to a fellow human. Dot. I am sure the ruling and opposition parties are getting a cut of these apps' profits. And these victims do not want to go the police and file a complaint since they know they would be ha. Rast more than the scammers. Next news. Despite jailing critics and dissidents, Cuba keeps seat on UN Human Rights Council. Miami Herald. Cuba was re-elected Tuesday to the United Nations Human Rights Council despite criticism from several advocacy groups and activists about the island government's imprisonment of over a thousand peaceful L protesters and dissenters. Below are your comments. Despite jailing critics and dissidents, U.S. Keep seat on UN Human Rights Council. The UN has long outlived its usefulness. Time to dissolve it. Notice Haley didn't say Russia. Lol, Cuba isn't doing anything different than this very corrupt Biden administration. Next news. Biden ripped for not mentioning Iran by name in speech on Hamas attacks. Utterly irresponsible and weak. Fox News. President Biden was blasted on social media Tuesday after delivering a speech on the Hamas attack on Israel without mentioning the group's top sponsor, Iran, by name. Below are your comments. Joe Alzheimer's took three days to finally speak publicly. The brain dead incompetent that much time to prepare for a three minute speech. Dot. FJ Biden is not a leader. He is a puppet. He says whatever his puppet master tells him so. Biden puppet is malfunctioning, again. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.